This is a First Alert Weather Special Report. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Lonnie Quinn here in the CBS2 Weather Center. We're going to get you back to your programming in just a second. I want to give you an update of what's going on weather-wise out there. Sure enough, the rain has kicked in for everybody, except for maybe Montauk. It's coming your way. Just be patient there. But look at this. Northern suburbs did begin with some snow. We thought this would be the case. In Pike County, you picked up about three inches of snow. But notice, Pike County has now turned over to all rain. That rain snow line is pushing more and more to the north. This is primarily 99% a rainstorm and it's a big rainstorm so let's pull the picture a little bit wider you're going to find there's heavy rain just west of us and extends all the way down to tampa florida so there's lots of different elements to this storm number one is going to be flooding freshwater flooding river flooding sure that's a big concern out there and it's a possibility for anybody in our area i mean top to bottom west to east anybody has a chance for the flooding out there but it's not just freshwater flooding also coastal concerns coastal flood warnings coastal flood advisories anybody who has a shoreline is prone to some coastal flooding out there today as you go from today into tomorrow. It's all because those winds are pushing that water on shore. So the winds are coming in off the water. All right, they're going to be strongest along the coast where you have a high wind watch. But look at this. Everybody in the area shaded in this sort of, you know, light brown color, it's a wind advisory. So those winds are, you know, basically 40 to 50 miles per hour for the area shaded in brown. And then that gold color, maybe a 50 to even 60 mile per hour gust. All right, these are not sustained, but they are occasionally super strong out there. It's just a multifaceted storm. The rain picks up in its intensity, shown by that orange color. Around 5, 5.30 or so, we shift gears a bit, but then we shift gears again as you get to about 8, maybe 8.30. Now you're seeing flashes of red out there. The red depicts the heaviest rain that this particular storm has to offer. That's Mother Nature giving you the worst that it has, but watch the duration of this. 8.30, here we are, 11.30. So basically, I would say 8 p.m. until 1 a.m. That's where I think you're going to see the heaviest activity out of the storm. It pushes out of here. You get sort of a drying westerly wind tomorrow, but it's still kind of a windy day out there. Some of those winds, take a peek here. They're going to be going 40, 50 miles per hour along the coast, and this is going to be coupled with rainfall that's coming down. I mean, you're talking anywhere. The low number on the board is 1.0. 4, according to the her and then you see lots of 2.5s 2.6s out there it's a lot of rain and all the models are on board with that from this point forward you see another two to three inches of rain maybe even more in some spots out there in those winds well here we go get to 11 p.m tonight a 56 mile per hour gust in belmar a 51 for montauk getting even stronger at 3 a.m a 67 potentially out around montauk but notice a westerly wind on the back side that's what we'll deal with tomorrow so it's going to be an eventful night we'll have all the details for we're going to walk you through this, but flooding is a big concern, coastal concerns as well, and the wind could be giving us some power outages. Let's get you back now to your programming. This has been a First Alert Weather Special Report.